Hello everybody, and today I've seen a lot of people use Photoshop as their main way of editing photos. So here's an alternative solution if you don't have money to pay for Photoshop or anything else you can use. So here, this application is called GIMP up here and what this does is it's literally Photoshop but well free now today's tutorial I will be showing you how to make something pop out um, and the meaning of that is having a black and white photo but with colors on it okay I know it sounds stupid right now but it will make sense in a while. So first thing you have to do is obviously open game. Now drag in the photo onto here. As you can see, it's loading. Still loading. Okay, here it's done. So this is what it normally looks like. Make sure. You have done this before you do anything else. Hit go and click here to layers and tool options. Right click your photo and hit duplicate layer. Now select this photo. You gotta go here to colors. Click this button. What this will do is it will turn this entire photo black and white if you hit lightness so let me just hit ok your photo should now look like this now you gotta right click this again add layer mask what this is doing is it's making a mask for the layer which will be a colored mask so when I color this picture black, it will show up as its original color. Now, make sure it's on white. Add. You see here, there's another piece of white paper here. Now, go to your toolbox. Select your paintbrush. Normally, it will be here. But for now, I just put it here. Now make sure you are painting this black. So switch that to black if you have to. Now if you drag your mouse on here, you will see you can start to paint. But what this is doing, it's not painting the actual photo. It's painting this mask. So as you can see when I draw, look it's turning back to its original color of this dog. So this is normally it. I will show you a completed product of this dog right here. Okay, bear with me now. Sorry, there's, th there's too much stuff. I will skip ahead until I find it. Oh wait, no I don't. Drag this screenshot. This would be what it would look like if you were to color this dog completely its original color basically. So, let's wait until this loads. Here. This would be what it normally looks like. And since I already saved this photo, it doesn't have the mask or the new layer underneath it. But you will have to make the mask and the new layer until you click this. Wait, sorry. You click this, you click this before making the mask. Or else... Um, uh, it'll just glitch out and the mask won't really do what it's supposed to do. 
Also, some other things you have to bear in mind is your brush has to be this one. You cannot use these. These would literally just, let's just say, like, delete the photo into a shade of gray. You cannot use any other things except for this one. Well, that I know of. Because maybe the, the star definitely works. And the one on top of this works too. But this is the easiest to work with. So, yeah. That's about all you have to know. But there is one last thing you could mess around with. If you go down to this bar right here, and you can pull it, wait, no, wait, that, that's for the brush. I mean, up here, you could pull it, or I could just lower its number. Let me just maybe hit enter. And normally, it would actually make this go back to, um, um, like, its original color if you set it down to zero. But since this is already a completed photo, I can't really show you that. Okay. So that's it for me right now. I will have another tutorial that's going to teach you how to crop and rotate photos in GIMP. Stay tuned for that and see you next time.